in my dreams, transmuting lower energies. You insulting my intelligence, like I'm a dumb chick, but I'm the dopest chick, and you know that, bitch. Tap in. Hi, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tapping into my energy. I am motivational speaker and certified life coach, Nayla Latrice. So let's tap into your energy. This is a message from the ancestor. Yes, we are ready. Okay, I'm hearing you on one. It's like you're on one right now, meaning it's like... I'm getting the energy like you're on top. You're on top of your game, okay? Uh, it's like I'm the best of the best is. So that's the energy that I'm picking up for you guys. You got, you guys are uh, stepping into your best era, okay? You guys are in your best era or stepping into your best era. I feel like many of you guys, if you're connected with me, you guys are stepping into your best era after having a period of being in the wilderness or um, having a period of uh, really getting it out the mud and breaking the uh, generational curses and uh, doing a lot of the work looking inwards within yourself okay and um, doing what you know needs to be done to elevate your frequency your vibrations is good vibrations so getting in that good vibrations okay you guys are stepping into the energy of prosperity and abundance and wealth and connections and collaborations and really being out there and really allowing yourself to see, uh, to to shine to be seen through your talents and your gifts shout out to all my entrepreneurs out there where y'all at tap in uh, below everybody that's pursuing their dreams going for their goals and what it is that they want to do it's like let's go let's go let's go you guys can tap in i am a, a business coach okay so if you guys have any type of business questions uh i definitely have my bachelor's in business and my master's in leadership organizational leadership so running companies ceo okay doing all the planning that's necessary right all right so uh again um being someone of many many skills and talents you all have many different skills and talents so make sure you guys are also um promoting yourselves and your businesses at this time it's it's time to get out here and and get your coin and get what it is that you uh have been put here for uh by the ancestors this is what the ancestors have been waiting for uh for this moment for such a time as this for you to be able to go out there and shine and do what you have been prepared to do all of this work uh like that denzel mean said I'm from the hood. Oh, I'm leaving with something. <laughs> you best believe that. I'm leaving with something. So, and if you had a mama like mine, you better come back when it's time. Uh -huh. Like, don't play. Don't play. I, I'm, I come from the era where, like, you, the street lights come on. It's like, uh-uh. You better not be, I better not have to call your name. Maybe, you know, I, I done heard my name on the block a few times. You know, Nayla. <laughs> like oh my mama calling me or my sisters or brothers or somebody calling me to let me know my mama looking for me my mama telling me uh i gotta get ready to come home for some of you guys you guys could be traveling home for some of you guys people is looking for you because you ain't where you was right but um let me let me tell you guys the message that i heard like i said you guys are stepping into your period of prosperity and abundance okay um and the message that i got is they shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of your house and you shall make them drink of the river of your pleasures okay or they feast on the abundance of your house and you give them drink from the river of your delights baby the river of your delights if i had to title this this message it would be the river of your delights, okay? So you are stepping into an energy where you are able to, you know, have a, 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 a constant stream, an ever-flowing, uh, um, uh, an overabundant flowing, uh, what, what, what do I want to say? An overabundant of, of flowing of your fruits of your labor. All of that hard work that you have put in. The struggles, the tears, the difficult times, the not knowing what you were going to do. Everything that you had to get through. 
not only did you have to get through things, but you also had to put in the energy and the efforts towards your dreams and your goals. So you've been working on a lot of different things, your mindset and so forth, right? So now you are stepping into the energy where you are able to reap your rewards. We are in harvest season, okay? We the Hathors, deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal here, okay? Look, longing for home, homesick for the star. So some of you guys, many of you guys tapped in are star seeds here, okay? You guys can be stargazing. I'm going to look up um, We the Hangers here. Uh, excuse me, the Hathors. So it could be something about, uh, oh, and I turned right to it. Ain't that something? Some uh, There could be something about hangers as well. Uh, something about, I don't know, um, that could be significant for somebody. Look, so you guys can focus in on it. Birth is a portal that ushers in new life. The Hathors are here to remind you that you're a child of the Cosmic Mother and you're being called to be held by her deep, never-ending love and embrace. This is a tender, nourishing card reminding you to receive the deep, deep love of the Mother's embrace. The Hathors know that the journey on Earth can be rocky and lonely at times, but you're being reminded to rest more deeply in the Mother's arms. This is a card of extreme potency, of femininity, of creation, and of birth. You're being called to mother yourself and others too, to surrender to your sacred femininity, to create and surrender to your own creations, to hold and be held. You're being called to remember your place in the web of life and to realize that the cosmic mother is watching you every step of the way. Come on now. You may be going through a transition right now, moving from one way of being to another. If so, you're being reminded that you're cradled in a sacred container, that you're more held than you can possibly imagine, and you have access to more love than your heart can bear. If you're struggling in any way, you're being reassured that things will work out. Open yourself to receiving the overflowing love of the Cosmic Mother flooding towards you from every direction. Let it stretch your heart. Baby, let's go. Place this card on the portal of your heart and whisper the following. So tap in. Pay attention. You guys can, um, look, I'm acting like I'm in the classroom. Pay attention. <laughs> uh, class, class. Class is in session. It's class is in session. It's class is in session and you out here teaching, muck because that's what you're doing. Okay, look, um... But you guys can screenshot that stuff if you want to. And it says, I allow the deep love of the cosmic mother to wash over me. I'm loved. I'm held. So let me break this down in so many different ways. One, I saw a spider today. So, um, and a ladybug. Okay. Um, so it's like those could be your spirit animals. Um, a lot of luck uh, around you. Okay. Um, things just happening out of nowhere. Again, you are loved. The universe surrounds you. And that spider energy is number eight. Is get Y'all know the movie Spider. The spider, along came a spider. So pay attention because along could be coming somebody trying to, you know, really tap into your energy that shouldn't be there. That along came a spider movie. All right. Um, but also that's that creativity. It's, uh, it's like spinning a web of creativity. Spiders are very creative. So really tap into your creative energy. Um, again, you're an entrepreneur. Many of you guys are, you're being called to become an entrepreneur because baby, these times out here, you got to build, you got to build your own. Okay, I'm not saying don't do what you got to do, get your money how you getting it, but also start building a, your own as well. Okay, um, but again, like I said, you're stepping into a brand new life. You have so much love that is here. The universe is here for you. The universe loves you. Many of you guys may not have had the 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 love that you would have desired to have from a woman, from a mother figure so you you have never really been comfortable you know connecting um you know well connecting with women but really having that 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 love shown to you and knowing how it feels you may have always had a lot of women c connecting to if i'm talking to my ladies real quick you may have all uh, always had women that were you know seemed like they were opposite of you or friends that it didn't turn out to be friends or things of that nature because the proper energy was not there you may have not have had that root connection okay with the feminine energy okay we're not gonna let's say this we're not gonna bash you know the people that um have necessarily um 
let's say our mothers or our grandmothers, our aunties, our sisters, because they're women still, right? It's the energy. It's the spirit that is that was there or not there, right? And I'm not saying there wasn't damage done, but at the same time, if you've healed, then you, you, you can talk about it, right? So it's really tapping into that feminine energy and really uh, stepping into who you are as a feminine, as a divine goddess you are so you can attract all of your desires and what it is that you want for your life, attracting the, the, the type of relationships that you, that you desire and so forth and so on, okay? Because now is that time to receive those type of connections and not just those type of connections um, that's coming into your life, those feminine connections, um, but also so, um, fellas, you know, that, that are listening, same with you, you know, you may have had, uh, not so good, uh, relationships with, uh, with women, right? Because you may have not had that, uh, connection, uh, of, of, um, the proper love of a feminine energy of your mother, of your grandmother, of your sisters, of the women around us, right? And maybe it's because they didn't know. And so everyone's just out here doing them and living their lives. But no matter the reason, it's time to really tap in and let all of that go and tap into your feminine energy and receive, receive. Because baby, I don't know whoever you are, if you tapped onto this, this dope video, then that means that you are attracting all the things that you desire. And it requires being in that feminine energy. So congratulations to you because it took a lot of work, but the universe is here holding you, wiping your tears. Money don't mean, well, let me not say that. Money means a lot. Money does a lot, but money is, you are in control of money. So my point is money doesn't control you. So for those of you that are thinking how you're going to pay this bill or how you're going to get um, this apartment or this house or this car or that loan or whatever it is that you need financially, because I know that's on the, the hearts of a lot of people. That's why the message is talking about abundance and prosperity. I'm here to tell you, you are entering into the energy where people are going to be eating from your desires, from your delights, from your river. You are the head. You, they come to you. You are the abundance. And it's all because you've stepped into this feminine energy and have learned how to really heal and tap in to receive. And that took a lot of work on your behalf. Come on, let's go. Again, longing for home. This is you longing for yourself. And now that you've met you, you have met you. You have met your higher self. You are in a higher vibration. So with that being said, it is now time for you to eat off the fruits of your labor. And everybody will also see that you are eating off the fruits of your labor, right? And they will become knocking on your door. Knock, knock, knock. Come knocking. I don't need you. What well, I can't remember the, all the lyrics to, to the Monica song, right? But it's like you go, they're gonna be coming knocking on your door asking, hey, can I eat from, from your table? Because you have it all. And you've worked for it. So do not feel guilty for having what you have. Oh, we got two. Woo! Baby. I thought this was one. You see, do you see how spirit do? You, I, I thought it was one and it's really two. And I've been getting the message. I guess I can say it now. I've been getting the messages of doubles. A lot of things are going to be happening in twos. You're getting multiple. Baby, when I tell you, spirit be showing up in so many signs and synchronicities. Y'all better start tapping in and paying attention. I've been getting almost double everything. You get what I'm saying? Double meant twins, right? Breakthrough. Surrender to this breakthrough here. Surrender. That's the truth. This is the Ace of Swords energy here. Tap in. I don't think we've ever had these. This one we have because I remember the owls. But this one, this breakthrough, I think we may have had Ginkgo too. Something about the moonlight as well. But you guys may be seeing birds. Again, look at, look at this. Double. Double, it's two of you. You could be getting uh, connected. You could be in a connection or getting ready to enter a connection. Keep your, don't nobody need to know what your 
status is, your relationship status, okay? Um, 39 and 43, you could be 39, they could be 43, or there could be a four-year difference between you and, and like a four-year age gap, okay? They may be older than you. You may be older than them. Take it how it resonates. But also, I had did a read, um, I think it was for the Virgos. Um, I can't remember which one it was, but um, it was two Bs that came out. So, uh, again, things are happening in twos. You're having a breakthrough here. So a lot of your challenges, your health challenges, your mental challenges, your financial challenges, the weapon may form, but it shall not prosper. Archangel Michael energy is here. Keep your head on a swivel. You have people watching over you. The universe has its, has its eye on you. Did y'all not hear the message I read? The universe has its eye on you, baby. The universe is watching you. You got security detail. You see this? Some of you guys may literally have security detail. But you are a sacred feminine, so tap into it for my ladies. I know that's the majority of who watches me, but take it how it resonates. Initiation. You are being initiated. All of this was a part of your, your initiation process. They had to make sure you was fly. They had to make sure you was dope. They had to make sure you was go past the dope test, right? Right? They had to make sure that you was really go, you know, be able to uh, deliver the messages how, how it was necessary, right? That you was going to be able to be on the right energy as necessary, as, as you are going to be able to speak up as necessary, as you are going to be able to uh, 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 get through and persevere through any and all challenges, no matter how big or small that's necessary, Right? The universe looks high and low. The universe knows everything that's going on. The universe works with us, not against us. The universe works for us. Why do I live in a universe design? Why do I live in a friendly universe designed to serve me? Shout out to Mark Houghton for that one. Why do I live in a friendly universe designed to serve me? Do the work. Initiation. See, you were in a cocoon and this is giving me like a cocoa. They had to make sure that you were going to be able to do what you need to do. Cut people off. Heal. That you are going to be ready for this level that, that you are on now because it's nothing small. It's nothing small. You are being initiated. A one on one, but they gave me two, so that's what that is, you know. And I'll put this here. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see where we're gonna go. Um, no, I don't want to go there, y'all. Yeah, we'll go here. Thank you, Great Spirit. Let's see what the tarot says. What's y'all weather like where y'all at? We got the queen of cups and the king of pentacles. You're emotionally stable and ready to be able to hold whatever this king of pentacles is. Okay, you guys may be receiving love from actual per like people. You're receiving love from 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 people from from many different uh, angles. Whether it's like for who you are and what you do at work. They see you at work, right? No matter if you are an entrepreneur, but also on the job, people see you. Whether this is, you know, relationships, like with um, with uh, people you're collaborating with. Uh, this could be like the energy within your home. Okay, let's say you guys are married and let's say you guys are going through a rough patch and you guys really been doing the work. Because y'all really been doing the work, right? Then it's like it's, the energy is turning around for you all, right? I'm hearing the name Keisha, Terrence, or Taylor, or Tyrone. It's giving me T-A-R-O-N-E or something like that. Not Tyrone, but Tyrone or Teron or something like that. Tamara, Tamara, your name could just start with a T in general. But, it, you know, it's, it's like you've been putting in the work. The energy is... 
uh, turning around, okay? You guys are emotionally stable and ready to receive this, this new day, this new life that's here for you, okay? Let's see what's here. Great Spirit, what's the message for whoever has clicked onto this video? Yeah, you guys, you guys did it. Look, we have this Five of Pentacles. It's like this is the energy that you guys have been in. You guys had to leave people out in this energy as well. Yeah, it's like you've elevated from this Five of Pentacles energy. It's like, can you, it's like, excuse me, I can't hear you. I don't have a signal. I don't have a signal. I can't hear you. It's like, call me back at another time or don't call me back at all type of energy. Um, what Issa Rae say, I think I had said this in another one, but what Issa Rae say, it's like, you can, uh, it's a me season. You can block me. You can do what you need to do. It's like, cause it's time to shine. You look, the, the sun shines here from, from the sun. It's like, this is being out in the cold, but this is warming it up. Aries energy here. We got the two of cups here. Okay, you guys could be going shopping for new clothes, accessories, you guys could be getting a new phone case or something, going to dye your hair or color your hair or do something like that. The color purple, the color pink, okay, is very significant. You guys may like to wear Converse, the color gold, but you guys have been out in the cold, have, have what had to weather the storm here, okay. And it's, I'm hearing it's going to be a cold winter for a lot of people. But you're in the energy of abundance. Spirit, spirit, know what to say? Look, four of wands, it's home. And we have the two of cups. You're building your home. You guys could be building a home. I heard under contract. You could be under, under contract for a brand new home here. I keep getting that, that real estate. I'm always getting a lot of, so you guys must be realtors. Some of you guys that watch me. So you guys could be selling homes. Your home is under, the homes that you're selling is under contract. It, everything's going well. It will go well. The sale closes, whether you're purchasing or whether you're a realtor. Okay. All is well. Yeah, you guys could be moving in with another person. It's like, yeah, the contract goes through. The contract, it, it's like seal the deal is what I'm hearing. I pay a penny for your thoughts. A nickel for your kiss. You know that I will. Usher. Somebody says I'll pay a penny for your thoughts. Somebody want to know, you know, what you're thinking or what's on your mind or something like that. Yeah. But you could be moving in with someone. Again, this is marriage energy. So I could be picking up on a married couple here as well. You guys could be purchasing a home together. You guys could be newlyweds as well. Yeah. You're in the energy of receiving here. Okay, yeah, there's a King of Cups here for some of you all. There's a lot of love that's in this connection. Somebody has a lot of love. They may not say how they feel all the time, but they do love you. I do love you. I'm also hearing Anita, uh, just Anita Baker. You guys may like Anita Baker here. But there's a lot of deep emotion that's here. Yeah, this is giving me like bridesmaids helping you to do something. I don't know. That's why I'm picking this up. Yeah, you guys have bridesmaids like helping you. It's kind of like with her dress here. I know this isn't like a wedding dress and all of that, but that's what I'm picking up here. So maybe everyone doesn't have a, like the, 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 a certain type of wedding dress or whatever, but that's the energy that I'm picking up. Yeah, I, th I see you have a lot of people doing for you, a lot of people giving to you. You guys may have a team here, or that's the energy you're stepping into. We have the Hierophant here. Yeah, a contract, a commitment. There's a contract, under contract. You're under contract. You're in a new contract. Mm -hmm. A new spiritual contract here, but also a contract that you're signing. Multiple, it could be multiple contracts, okay? It could be like, um, you could be an influencer assigning brand deals, okay? But you could also, you, you could have a home under contract as well. There's, uh, I'm getting also like, you know, it's like lawyer, penmanship, you know, docu legal documents, all of that. I'm also hearing non-disclosure. It's like what Beyonce says, it's like if they want to party with the queen, they're going to have to sign a non-disclosure. It's like if they want to party with you, they're going to have to sign a non-disclosure, okay? Page of Swords, the Hierophant. Yeah, they watching you. 
They people know that you are in this new energy. They know that you have this contract. They know it was destined. See, this is what everybody tried to stop. This is what everybody tried to stop you from doing. That's what all all the, the, the snares that was coming at you from the wicked. That's what they was doing. They was trying to come to you. That's the test that you had to pass. And now you got your breakthrough. And now you in a land of abundance. And now they going to be coming knocking on your door. You are the one giving them drink from the river of your delights. Your delights. You didn't put in on this man. You can give him if you want to. You ain't got to be stingy because you got more than enough. Your heart ain't even built like that. Because you know at the end of the day what you what you still have. When you are in that energy, your energy begins to change. And, and it looks different at the other people. If that makes sense. That on what on how they did what they did but at the end of the day it is what it is you still are in the energy that you're in and most likely you know that they're they're not going to reach that energy you are the one that is in that position for a reason everyone isn't meant to get in that the position that you're in you are in the position that you're in because you can be trusted because the universe god has searched the hearts of many people and yours has been found pure and blameless not saying that you're perfect and not saying you have not made mistakes but you really you really uh connect with the universe you really are obedient and you do as you are told you are chosen you are the chosen one so you are the one that is meant to be the leader that's why you are the leader this hierophant, you are a leader. You are chosen for this out of your family to be who you are. You know who you are. You know the skills and the gifts that you carry. All of them, not just one. Look, they trying to take my throat chakra out, but hold up. Y'all, look, I got my, uh, got my burritos. I was wanting some M&M's, but I said, no sugar, no sugar. I don't be doing, I don't eat sugar like that anyways. I don't, you know, only sugar I eat is brown sugar in my, um, in my uh, oatmeal, just a little bit, you know? So, and that's, that's it. But, um, but, or, you know, but I ain't want it like. I ain't had M&M's or my candy in a long time, but that's just a message as well. If you're going to have some type of snack, you know, because I've got off meat for the most part. I do chicken like one time a week, and it's usually halal meat. If, okay, if you don't know, go research it. H-A-L-A-L, -L, you know, and it's chicken, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just don't eat veggies and all of that so i still gotta know how i still gotta have a little bit of meat and i still want to enjoy life and when you are able to enjoy life it's kind of, you know it's kind of like you know i'm able to go here and taste that or go here and taste that i want to see what this what my all my favorite dishes when i was in the wilderness cooking up that bomb bomb food before i realized how toxic it was for us you get what i'm saying so you know as i travel and do certain things you're damn right i'm gonna i'm gonna have me some chicken wings or something here and there from from over in that country or whatever you get what i'm saying but it's not an everyday thing it may not even be a weekly thing or a monthly thing but an every now and again thing but anyways my point is um i don't really do sugar right um so if you're gonna have some uh, some type of snack don't let it be sugar do like chips or something like that you get what i'm saying i don't know just as an alternative just get away from the sugar is a message in here as well from the ancestors i'm getting i'm also getting like um, eat chocolate or something like that maybe because I'm getting cocoa here so maybe chocolate or dark chocolate is a better option you know um, real you know versus I don't know but anyways let me I kind of got off track but again you are the leader here you are the one that was chosen okay let's see what time frame are we at okay yeah let's go ahead and get ready to close this out Let's, you know what, I do want to see something real quick. What's this Five of Pentacles? Oh, look, see, Spirit knew. You moving forward. Six of Cups, okay? You on your destined path, the sun, Ten of Pentacles. It's, this Ten of Pentacles is being revealed. You have this Ten of Pentacles. This Ten of Pentacles is the happiness you've been seeking, okay? You're in your long-term energy. You are definitely in your north node. You are no longer in your south node. That cycle has been closed. That door is closed. You're done. You are fully, completely. It's kind of like you may have even been in a holding space from being out of the south node and into 
like a holding space before you entered into the North Node type of thing. That's that hell and 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 hell to heaven transition type of thing that people be talking about. But y'all, if y'all feel me, and then that holding space, you know, and it's kind of like uh, Lazarus and the poor man, or or Lazarus and the rich man. You, you get what I'm saying? So, whichever way it go, but y'all know what I'm talking about. So it's like people can see that you're in the other energy, and it's like. You're in that energy. They got to get the work. They got to do the work to get themselves and transition themselves from that hell energy to that heaven energy. But you guys may have been in a holding space, but now you guys are in this, in this North Node. The sun has revealed that. You guys have this clarity here. Okay. You're on your soul path, your destined path, meeting your soul mates and the people you're meant to be with, the people you're meant to create memories with, the people that are going to be familiar with, the people that are comforting and that are healing. Okay, things that are pleasurable for you. You're in that divine feminine type of energy, no matter who you are watching. Okay, yeah, that's what here, but you're moving forward. Three of Wands, your ships have come in. You have momentum, you're gaining momentum, you're very confident. I'm hearing explosion. Okay, it's like you're exploding, you're growing. Yeah, from the three to the four, things are in order. Three, four, five, six. So things are definitely in order here, okay? Let's go ahead and get ready to close this out. You guys can give this a thumbs up just straight out. We got Sunday, okay? Today is Sunday. So something could be happening today. Whoa, a gift. <laughs> you guys could be getting a gift on any given Sunday. Ooh, come on, y'all. Been, I've been spitting bars. I be spitting bars, okay? I be spitting bars. Okay, there could be some men in your life, your uncle, your father, they could be definitely significant, a cousin, okay, a lot of family is here, okay, neighbor here pops out as well, but you could be receiving a gift here, let's see. Again, influencer, sacral chakra, Wednesday as well, I'm also getting the show Wednesday, what else is here? What messages are here, great spirit? Ori, you're the head. You're the head. Within six to twelve months, your life isn't gonna be is isn't gonna be um isn't gonna look how it looks now. Okay, you are the head. You are the head of household, or you you know that type of energy. You're you're in your your highest energy. The universe watches over you. Forward is the motion. Okay, you're moving forward. Okay, you're moving into a new neighborhood. You're moving, your forward is the motion. You're moving out of a neighborhood or away from a specific community here. Forward is the motion. In laws, grandma. Okay, winner. Okay. You're a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, there could be some type of contest that you're in. Okay, you're definitely going to be winning that contest here. Again, that sacral chakra being creative energy. I told you that spider, that spider. Okay, the eight, infinite, sister. Okay, your sister coming soon, mystical. Yeah, your life is going to be so mystical. Spirit is saying you may need to disappear for the next six to 12 months, some of you guys, and be mystical, or you guys are going to be living a mystical life within six to, within um, the next six to 12 months. Okay, something coming soon. All right. Some of you guys could have a sister coming soon. So you guys could be pregnant, having a little girl and you have, you know, somebody's going to be having a new little sister. This is giving me baby coming soon with the sister and stuff here, but something is coming soon. A table prepared in front of your enemies. Let's get a few more of these. I'm going to get one more row. Okay. 3313 on the phone. Let's get one more row spirit. And I'm going to do a little extra too. That coming soon wants to be there. Providence 31 woman. Whoa. Look at what wanted to come back out. I'm going to take it all. You are the head, never the tail. Guarantee. Okay. Oya. Okay. So you're guaranteed to be a, a winner. Okay. You are the head, never the tail. I said that. Okay. Again, a transformation is coming. Lightning, storms. It's raining here. Okay, but yeah, there could be some type of destruction that, that has taken place as well. But Oya is here to bring in a change, a transformation. A gift is coming soon. Okay, could be by way of using your throat chakra as well. Many of you guys are speakers or you guys use your, your you guys are teachers. It's, and again, look what came back out. Spirit wanted to be shown for sure. Like this is what it is. Proverbs 31 woman. 
Okay. Now let's have some fun. Okay. Let's uh let's see what's in here. This a lot. Okay. Spirit says take this. So look, doubles, two hearts. So there's definitely a relationship here. We have an Aquarius here. All right, we have a flower. So something about flowers. It's like you grew into this beautiful flower here. Spirit says you just got to believe, okay? And then we have a leaf here. Yeah, there's a change of season. We are in the midst of a change of a season. Enjoy it. Z, your name could uh, start with the letter Z here, okay? L, your name could start with L. <laughs> N. Sagittarius, life is a gift. Where did gift one go? Right here, right in front of my face. This was on it. Life is a gift. A Taurus, okay? So we have a Taurus here, okay? That could be a car. Y'all remember the four Tauruses? Do they still make those? Look, something is ending. That's Oya. Oh, this is interesting. It's like I ain't going to go through and put each of them on, on, on it, but that's interesting how some of them are lining up. It's like this is some an ending that's here or that's coming, okay? Boot, you could be going in a new direction. It's time to, to start, you know, walking or, you know, going. you're walking into a new direction type of energy, okay? Look, starfish, again, going to the beach, being in the water, the ocean. You guys can live near the ocean or be moving towards the ocean or near the ocean. All right. We have star here. So two stars. You're, you're definitely a star here. And then we have Aries. Okay. Um, it, Aries energy is here. I said that earlier with... Um, with the full card, right? And then look at this. We have a mic. It's time to speak up and let your voice be heard. Whatever it is you do. Spirit has been very clear here, baby. So, y'all, this was a super dope-ass read, right? All right. Um, I also see protect uh, st sticking out here, okay? This is what it looks like. You are protected. You've always been protected. You will always be protected. So, there's nothing that you need to be afraid of. This is your reassurance, all right? You guys can definitely give this video a thumbs up. If it resonated with you all, you guys can also share it with anyone uh, that you know may uh, be able to find something in here useful. You guys can check out my Instagram, Nayla Latrice. All right. Also, you guys can book your personal readings, your uh, coaching, okay, whether it's your mirror work coaching, all right, uh, or uh, if you guys book Reiki or Abundance Mindset Coaching, I have a lot of different options down below. And yeah, just let me know how resonated and I will see y'all in the next one. I am Coach Nayla Latrice. Peace.